students will be greeted by a new principal when they walk through the doors at Ben Franklin High School. WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore sat down with Dr. Kendall McManus Thomas to show us how the New Orleans native is making history. I take it um, with pride knowing I represent so many amazing educators, my family, and our community. Pictures of former Ben Franklin principals line the high school's front office. Soon, Dr. Kendall McManus Thomas's photo will be added, and for the first time, it'll be a black man. Our community, you know, through conversations, like, do you realize you're the first black principal, black male principal of Franklin? Um, do you realize what this moment means? Dr. McManus Thomas' story started in New Orleans East. The educator attended public schools starting out at Sherwood Forest, then Fantasy Williams and Warren Easton. Dr. Mack, as he's affectionately called, says growing up in New Orleans has challenges. I knew education was critical to a better life. But nothing could stop him from achieving his goals, not even Hurricane Katrina his senior year. For me personally, it was to do my best. It was to strive hard. It was to try with anything in front of me. Ben Franklin is known for preparing students of high academic achievement to be successful in life. The school has a 99% college attendance rate. Students are required to take advanced courses and according to the Louisiana Department of Education, Ben Franklin ranks as the number six best school in the state. We are a flagship school to our world on what education could be. Dr. Mack has poured into several schools and hundreds of students throughout New Orleans. When you work in your ministry and do what you know your purpose and call to do, uh, you have to take the assignment that is given. He says the students' drive, smiles, and eagerness to excel keeps him going. The students, they are a constant and daily reminder of my why. His message, he wants all children, specifically black boys, to see themselves in him knowing anything is possible. I hope that people are inspired and encouraged to trust the process uh, and to see and know the reflection of what it means to be educated, born and raised and educated in New Orleans. Jonah Gilmore. WDSU News. Very impressive. And Dr. Max says he is so excited to meet all of the students when they arrive on campus at 8 a.m.